close this uh, up a portion using GeoGebra. So the problem, is, um, copy the link from below and then follow along. So the problem is for a class project, a political science student at a large university wants to estimate the percent of students who are registered voters. He surveys 500 students and finds that 300 are registered voters. Compute a 90% confidence interval for the true percent of students who are registered voters. So we'll copy the link below and you paste in, you will see something like this, okay? Now click on the tab here, statistics tab right here, yeah? And then you will click down the drop down menu right here and you choose Z estimate for proportion. So remember, whenever you do the estimate, the confidence interval of a proportion, you choose Z estimate of a proportion right here, yes. So they say compute a 90% confidence interval. So therefore over here, you have to put 90%, which is 0.9, yeah. Okay. Um, successes, that means whatever you want to do, that will be successes. So over here, He surveyed five numbers, here 300, okay. And here you will see the answer it have is right here. Yeah. So you will see, this is called, we have everything here. You have number successes and here, the um, symbol, esti symbol estimate right here. Uh, and this one is lower limit and this upper limit. And the part right here, the interval, that means this is the mean that you find out they have 300 divided by 500, you have 0.6. And this part right here, they get the margin of error. So when you add it, 0.6 with the margin of error, you have the upper limit. And when you subtract, you have lower limits. So the answer you would write over here, you write the lower limit first. It's gonna be, it's gonna be 0.564. And the upper limit you will write over here, that'd be 0.6. Three, six. That would be your answer. And you can write in interval form. You have the, the um, parenthesis and you write 0 0.564 and then 0.636 and then close parenthesis. So now you have a similar problem down here and try to see if you have the same answer after you give your answer.